The election is rapidly approaching, and the next four years will be determined in just the next four days. The latest ABC News poll shows Mitt Romney leading by one point. And while President Obama enjoys overwhelming support from African Americans, it's complicated. A new documentary series asks, will those same voters who propelled them to victory in 2008 turn out in force again? Here's ABC's Pierre Thomas for your voice, your vote. What he represented to a nation of kids were hope. In this campaign ad released today, superstar rapper Jay-Z encourages black voters to get out the door and into the polling booth for Barack Obama. I'm Barack Obama, and I approve this message. With a 96% approval rating among black voters, though, Four more years! Four more years! you may wonder why it's necessary. The reason? While support for the president among the Democratic faithful remains high, this time there's a decidedly different feel than that of election night 2008, an historic moment for the country as a whole, but a particularly meaningful one in the African-American community. The tears flowed freely, raw emotion, hard for many to truly explain. Thoughts of the legacy of slavery, Jim Crow and overcoming, converging in one epic instant. My dad, he cried. My household was very emotional. My family got together and watched it. I called my pops. It was a day that he had never thought he'd ever see, because I never thought I would ever see it. But it is now four years later, and euphoria has given way to the harsh reality of economic pain. And there are scars created by a divided country, still at times wrestling with issues of race. A new black entertainment television documentary series, Second Coming, peels back the layers of the devoted but complicated relationship black voters have with the president. Crime is rising. Is he doing a good job or bad job? He hasn't had a whole lot of time. You know, we had... He's got four years. I think there's no doubt the thrill is gone. That moment in 2008 was a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Film director Mark Levin sent teams around the country talking to blacks from every walk of life. Do I think he was going to put on a cape and say black America? Uh -uh. There are frustrations, as blacks have been hit harder by the Great Recession than any other group. Black unemployment is almost double the national average. To me, he hasn't done anything. The economy hasn't gotten better, nothing's gotten better. We're in the same spot we were where Bush was in presidency. And another emotional issue has surfaced, gay marriage. I think same-sex couples should be able to get married. I don't even care what Obama said. Jesus said marriage is between a man and a woman. Reverend Dr. Jamal Bryant, the pastor of a large African-American congregation in Baltimore, is among those profiled in the documentary. Oh! A fiery, charismatic speaker, he's among a new generation of black religious leaders diving into the political fray. This election has far-reaching implications. You part ways with the president on the issue of gay marriage. Yes. I'm against the president on that issue. But he still supports Obama. I think where it is that the African-American community and the black pastors have got to mature is one issue ought not be able to sever the relationship. Are you concerned that some of the black pastors are going to tell their congregation either stay at home or vote the other way? That's a very small minority. Uh, but the African-American community is not myopic in nature. We have more than one opinion. I think that those parishioners are still going to go vote, and in large numbers, still going to vote for President Obama. Yeah, yeah. ABC News polling suggests there has been no significant drop-off in black enthusiasm for Obama compared to 2008. Are you guys voting for Obama? Yeah! But aside from the usual support from blacks that Democrats depend on, the series reveals one additional motivation that the country as a whole may not be aware of. This president has a deep hatred for white people. This man hates this country. A simmering anger many blacks feel about how they believe the president has been treated. We've seen that governor put her finger in his face. Right. When have you ever seen somebody do the president like that? I think it is the deep-seated racism that we have not yet confronted. There'll be people that hear that and will say, well, you know, there they go again. Yes. When you hear that mantra, let's take America back, what do you think they're talking about? <laughs> I, I really think that they're saying, let's take the paradigm back to where it used to be, a good old boy system at the country club uh, drinking Arnold Palmer's. If the filmmakers have tapped into black anger, they share it. Angry? Yeah, I'm angry about that. 
There's never been a president who has been treated as shabbily as this president. And they hope that anger will translate into heavy what black turnout for the president. For? We got to shake every tree, break into every barbershop, uh, yell from every church, November 6th, let's shut it down. Uh, it's got to be about the election. For Nightline, I'm Pierre Thomas, ABC News, Washington.